In this video we're going to take a look at how SAS can be used to solve optimization problems. So uh, SAS isn't just um, a stats package, you, you, in other words to, to handle data sets and get statistics out of them, it can be used to do some very complex things and um, there are quite a few procedures that we can use for optimization but the one we're going to be using is uh, what I believe to be the most up-to-date one and it's PROC OPT model and this just allows you to um, optimize all sorts of optimization problems. So first of all you can declare variables so variable x and y um, and oh sorry we need a comma in between them for x and y and then you say what your objective function is. So it's minimize function z equals x squared minus x minus 2 times y minus x times y plus y squared or whatever or whatever your function is and we want to minimize that we write solve and include the option print x and y and we run that with a quit so it's the opt model procedure um, you declare your variables declare what you want so you want to minimize that function you could also maximize it you tell it to solve it and then print the the variables. Oh, let me just figure out how to highlight all that. And if we submit that, and if we look at our output window, we see um, the output. So it gives us the value of of x and y um, that happened to solve that. This wasn't actually the example I had done in my notes. I had a minus x um, minus two times y there. But that, that still works. I mean, it, those are the values that happen to minimize it. Um, or that happens to be unbounded here. So let's just run the one that I actually meant to run. Oh, sorry. And this, this is also unbounded. So sorry about this. And if we run this model here, solution stasis, it is optimal. Um, so I suppose this, those two previous things were good examples of functions that uh, were happy to be about it, but this function is optimal over this range and we see the two values. Okay, so that's just an output of, uh, of the SAS procedure op model. Note here it's quite nice, it tells you the particular um, algorithm it used, so it used uh, nonlinear programming and it used an interior point method. method. Um, and that's quite nice, but we can we can add in a few more things. So um, let me just copy this. We can, for example, say, ah, I want a particular domain. So I want my x actually to be negative and my y to be positive. So if I run that now, we see very different solution. And again, it is optimal. The solution states this, it's optimal. Okay, um, but we can add in much more complicated um, constraints. So let me just try another one proct opt model. Proct opt model. The variables are, let's call them x1, which has to be positive, x2, which has to be positive and x3 which has to be positive. I'm going I want to maximize the sum um, maximize f to be the sum of x1 plus x2 plus x3 and here I can bring in my constraints so constraint I'll give it a name in case it comes up um, 3 times x1 plus 2 times x2 um, minus x3 is less than or equal to 1. And another constraint, c2, which is just going to be minus 2 times x1 minus 3 times x2. Oops, sorry, minus 3. Minus 2 times x1 minus 3 times x2 plus 2 times x3 for example. So these are just um, completely made up uh, constraints that I, I just know that work. Use the solve and then print x1, 
x2 and x3 and quit. So the new keyword we've got here is constraint and also now we're deciding to maximize as opposed to minimize previously. So if I run that um, solution comes up that this is optimized at 0, 3 and uh, 5 and um, we also see no infeasibilities see that the solution says is optimal and the objective function the objective uh, and the number of iterations of this particular model which was a variant of the simplex algorithm so you can change all these things um, and obviously get different results it doesn't have to be a linear function as we've seen there it can be nonlinear and so so SAS is actually quite a nice tool when it comes to optimization